and good morning. My name is Christopher, an amateur weather observer, and welcome to a new episode of my daily backyard weather observation here in our neighborhood, Lorne Park, Lakeshore, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. It's Tuesday, June 4th, 2024, nine o'clock in the morning, mainly clear skies with a few clouds at three octaves. Temperature, 18.2 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is slowly rising at 10, 15.7 millibars, and the air quality reading is low at 4.5 microgram per cubic meter for fine particulate matter at 2.5 microns. Precipitation wise, let's check the rain gauge. So we got 0 0.2 millimeters in the past 24 hours and this will be entered in the cocoraz.org website under station ID CINON646. Okay, let's empty this out. So we're ready for next round of measurements. So for the next few episodes, I'm going to be featuring weather books that have greatly influenced me and open my eyes to the world of weather and also climate. And the first book that I will introduce to you is this book. It's a book called A Book to Begin with Weather uh, by Leslie Waller and illustrated by Tom Fank. And the reason why it chose to be my very first book to feature is it's a special book for me. <laughs> because this was given to me by my little sister. So when she was younger, um, her elementary school, um, in their library, they had a, a book sale. And at the time, um, she realizes that her big brother started to get interested in weather. So she went to the library and specifically looked for a weather book so she can give that to her big brother. And this is what she brought home. It was quite a good book to read because it's a it's a great introductory book, especially if you have young kids or someone who's just starting to get interested in weather. It's a good book that shows in a very um, fundamental way that explains to readers what makes the weather, what what does the weather changes, and it's a very good illustration as well that shows different aspects of the weather tells um, how the sun affects agriculture, how the wind creates clouds by the mountains, the, the water life cycle, and even concepts about low pressure and high pressure system. And I really had a great time reading this book. And if you have little kids, it's also a good idea uh, to me. Perhaps you have time today or sometime this week, to go to your local library and look for weather books that will introduce them to this wonderful nature of weather. Uh, this book is quite old. <laughs> As you can see here, this was published in 1959 uh, by this publisher Holt, Reinhardt, and Winston of Canada. And it is a great book that really has a special place in my heart. Um, so there you go. E if you have some time, visit your local library. Maybe they have a private uh, book sale as well, and you can grab one. So you can actually take up the book and keep it. <laughs> well, friends, I'm going to be featuring more weather books in my next episode. I hope you can join me again um, and give you some ideas on what kind of weather books you can pick up or buy at your local bookstore. And finally, wherever you are, friends, remember that the sun is always there and the cloud shall eventually pass have an awesome day have fun reading your other book <laughs> see you again tomorrow take care